Good morning. Welcome to this first video for April Vlogs. I don't know why I keep looking down here. Like something exciting is there. There's nothing. It's like there's a list. I've got a list and my phone. <laughs> That's about as exciting as it gets. Actually, no, there is some exciting things on the table. Going off on a tangent already. I've got some Easter Lego. Not that I'll be doing it, but there you go. Welcome to this first video. It is not April yet. It is the 31st of March. It's actually my eldest daughter's 17th birthday and she broke up from college for the Easter holidays yesterday. So she is still in bed. It's 9.30 in the morning. She'll be in bed for some time yet. That's one of her goals for her birthday is to have a really good long lie in. My youngest daughter is at school and uh, when, when she finishes today, she will be done for the Easter holidays as well. So if you're here for April daily vlogs, you can expect one video every day throughout April, which is why I'm starting today because I always film one day behind or in ahead, no. So this, if I film a video, it will be released the following day. So I wanted something to go up on the 1st of April, which is why I'm starting on the 31st of March. You can expect more of those uh, vague and slightly stumbly explanations of things uh yeah so daily life basically i just take you along with whatever we're doing sometimes it's interesting days out and other things sometimes it's pretty boring like if i've just got a day at work or something uh and there's usually lots of cooking and books and crafty creative stuff and walking and uh there's going to be a lot of decluttering going on this month because well there's going to be a lot of decluttering and clutter making because our the work on our kitchen renovation starts towards the end of April so we've actually got to do a lot of clearing out of the kitchen this shelf unit which I've fallen out of love with behind me is going to be coming down so I'm going to be taking everything off there and I'll probably go through with you and talk um, about some of the stuff that's on there and in the drawers and so on uh, everything's got to be cleared out and packed away ready and I've got a cupboard of doom just out of shot here that needs to be emptied as well and we've also got a ton of stuff, shall I show you? Let's go on a little wander and I will show you how messy my house is right now. It is playing with my mind. We are in a period of flux. So down here, I've got my sewing machine, which has never had a proper um, place to live. And you can see just how awful those walls are. They were not that long ago painted, but the paint has just not adhered properly to the lining paper. Um, we have decorated millions of rooms, so I don't know quite what happened there, but it doesn't matter because it's all coming off. It's going to be plastered. Uh, this unit is going to be going, so I've got to clear out all those books. Uh, and this box here is stuff that I need to mend and sort and sew. So I need to get to that at some point, preferably before the dust starts. And then there's all stuff dumped here that's needing to be sorted and put away. This is the current situation at the bottom of our stairs. Uh, the girls, my two girls, have both been having a big clear out in their bedrooms. And we've decided we're going to do a boot sale at some point this month. So this is all stuff that will be going to the boot sale. Got other stuff already in the car and in my mum's garage. This is a jumper that my very lovely mother-in-law made for my eldest daughter, but she's grown out of it and it's got some holes and things in it. So actually I might put that in the mending pile. Mend it for my youngest daughter. This <laughs> is the uh, living room. I mean, I can make no excuse for this. This is just uh, my knitting and crafty projects. That's a hat, that's a cow. This is the tissues I use because my nose is perpetually running. And then over here we have Lego. We're doing a big Lego sort out at the moment. We're gathering together all the Lego in the house, of which there is a lot. We have my husband and my eldest daughter are big Lego fans. And he's currently in the process of rebuilding all the sets so that we can store them away properly in boxes so we know exactly where they are. We were going to sell some. And then we realised that Lego have actually stopped doing some of the Lego friend sets that we have. So we're going to keep hold of them for the future. This is toys that I'm finding the sets that they go with. Um, and then over here in the corner, um, these are just blankets that we use day to day, but that blue thing underneath, that's a Lego thing. So all the Lego bits are inside it and then you can kind of scoop it all up when you're finished. 
I've got a ton of books looking for homes here because I've had some really good book bargains recently that you would have seen me talk about. And we've got some uh, birthday cards because it was Dan's birthday uh, at the weekend. So his birthday cards are, are, actually I need to take those down because it's Lilia's birthday today so she can't wake up to other people's cards. I need to make room for hers. That's the card that Dan got from the girls. <laughs> and I got him a little print from Faversham because we had a little day out there. Oh, and uh, Phoebe, my youngest, came second in the Kent School Championships yesterday for trampolining. So that's just living there to, so we can look at it before it goes on her trophy shelf. <sighs> Sigh, I hate this sofa. I kind of hate this unit now as well and it needs a bit of sorting out, but it's not too bad. And then we've got a pile of Easter eggs over here. Because Dan forgot to take them to football training to give to all the girls in the football team last night. Some knitting needles for my mum that I ordered for her. My eye drops for my very dry eyes. <laughs> and other things, stuff that needs to go in the post and so on. So it's not too bad, but I uh, there's also stuff by the back door actually, which I'll show you another day because it's all to do with the garden and there's gonna be some stuff that we'll be doing in the garden. So I'll show you when I get around to that. Uh, but yeah, I am someone that really struggles with visual clutter. So uh, being in this period of flux with stuff everywhere is a bit of a nightmare. Oh, my mum's calling. One moment. Hello? We'll see you then. All right. All right, mum. Bye. Bye. That was just my mum checking when she can come around with Lilia's birthday present later. So I can't remember what I was saying. I'm going to make another cup of tea and now I'm going to spend the next hour um, catching up on some comments on my channel. Because I like to do that, make a nice cup of tea, maybe something nice to eat and catch up on some comments. And then I'm actually going to treat myself to a bit of a sit down. I'm going to watch something on YouTube and do a bit of creating, either cross stitch or knitting or crochet. I'm not sure what I'm in the mood for. One of those three. for your birthday even though you've only just woken up five <laughs> including your birthday eve book yes are you going to show them at some point I, on the book yes. yes i have to finish responding to all of my friends oh all of those birthday messages and what are you having for your birthday breakfast two muffins because dad and phoebe always eat them and look at that pile of tea bags that shows what kind of morning dan and i have had morning dan welcome to april vlogs morning hello everyone Oh, are you doing <laughs> April vlogs? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's why I'm filming. <laughs> it's a bit last minute, but I'm going to make from one of my favourite cookbooks, probably not focusing, Jo Wheatley. This is her second book. Um, I'm going to make her lemon drizzle tray bake, which apparently, according to myself, is amazing. Five stars. So I'm going to make that... Um, at the birthday girl's request. Hello. Hello. Finish the oh, you made the chickens. Oh, look. Lilia has made the Lego Easter chickens. Oh, oh. I added the chicken crust for 
Say again. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the chicken cross the road? Cross. <laughs> You can get away with that because it's your birthday. To keep me company whilst I am cooking, I'm going to continue with my audio book. I'm reading, rock, reading, listening to Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. It is creeping me out. One of our lights started flickering last night when I was listening to this and I had to stop listening to it. It's not that anything particularly scary has happened. It's just, it just keeps promising to. <laughs> so let's see how we get on today. Oops, that's not play. Well, the last time this happened was quite a few years ago, but I remember I was vlogging about it. The uh, vlog when I was stuck in the Sainsbury's car park for about three hours. Let's prop it up there. I'm gonna let this person go. Hopefully you can see me. I'm filming this completely blind because uh, I'm using my phone. I didn't take my camera with me. I thought I was only going to be gone for 10 minutes. I just had to pop to Sainsbury's to get a couple of bits for later. Uh, yeah, so the entire town around our big Sainsbury's for some reason has become gridlocked and because it's all a one-way system that has gridlocked the Sainsbury's car park. The last time this happened I was stuck in the Sainsbury's car park for three hours. I'm hoping that won't be the case this time <laughs> people are getting very angry i'm not sure i mean we're all stuck in the same boat no one's going anywhere in a hurry i'm not sure how you can possibly start beeping and get angry with each other but people do so i'm hoping i'll be out of here in under three hours fortunately i'm really enjoying my audiobook i'm usually pretty good with a oh should we let another one out go on then worth it for the cheery smile um go on pass it on ah oh, he's let the one in front of him out now as well yeah my audiobook i have i'm normally pretty good at these sort of mystery things sort of i can usually spot the twist pretty early on i haven't got a clue every time i think of what the you know when i've worked the twist out i think to myself no it can't be that because of this so um Oh, we're actually moving at, at pace now. I better stop filming. Anyway, I can't work it out. It's really good and it's going to keep me company whilst we trundle out, trundle out the car park. survived the Sainsbury's car park and I'm home and my lemon drizzle cakes hat oops now one of them's now got a hole in it um have cooled it was supposed to be a lemon drizzle tray bake but I don't have a tray in which to bake it so I just did it in two cake tins <laughs> so I'm trying to work out now if I want to sandwich them together and make like a lemon drizzle cake sandwich cake or cut them into squares
Ja, das ist ja ein Barbarischen. Yay! I'm so excited! Big round of applause, guys! Yay! 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 Yeah, I have the whole series now! Oh, I'm so excited! Look, I got my shelves! They are my shelves, my floating bookshelves! Are these the ones you're on about? Yes! One, two, three. It's a light. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Lilia! Happy birthday to you! Speech! I am upstairs for 10, 15 minutes of solitude. It's become one of my favourite things to do in the last couple of weeks as the evenings have been getting lighter, to come upstairs and get into bed because <laughs> where our bed is I can have a really good view out of the window and it's a nice view out of the window, it's a nice open view with some of the nicer houses on the road <laughs> and uh, trees and things in the distance and it's really nice but I'm set back so no one there's, no, there's no, nothing opposite that can look in at me, so it's kind of like a little private view of the evening. And I get tucked up into bed because it's still cold enough to do that. And I either read or I do a bit of work or I edit. And it is really lovely. And it's difficult for me at this time of year because as much as I love spring and the nature that happens, it does make me realise that summer is coming. And summer is a season I really, really struggle with for... A number of reasons and I will talk about those probably throughout um, April vlogs and I've spoken about them before uh, but it making the most of this little time in the evening has been really lovely because it's making me sort of appreciate the extended daylight rather than dread it like I usually do so it's quite nice so I'm gonna do that for a bit of solitude it's been a very full-on day I hope we're getting stuck in the Sainsbury's car park and a birthday we have a bit of a house full my mum's gone home now uh, but uh, Lilia's boyfriend will be here with us for takeaway pizza, which we will be ordering shortly. Her wish for her birthday is takeaway pizza and to watch Stardust and then uh, Beyond Paradise and eat pizza, which is very good. Sounds very good to me. So I'm going to sign off now and I'll, I will see you for proper day one of April vlogs uh, tomorrow. I'm really out of practice. I think, I have no idea what I filmed today. It's probably definitely going to be too long. <laughs> I'll get back into the swing of it soon. So I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>